as the song says, when I'm 64. And that applies to this model because it is in the scale of 1 to 64. As you can see, it comes in an NZG branded box and it's listed as model number 1065. In fact, in this particular color, it's actually model 1065-30. And as the box says, it's a Scania V8730S and car transporter. It's a smaller model, but on the way bridge, it still comes in at £1.12 ounces, which is nearly 800 grams. So we can see the model through the window in the box, but let's pull out the insides. And in addition to the model, there is a little instruction leaflet, and we'll look at that again in a moment. But before that, we need to do a bit of knife work and lift the lid. And the model sits in a split tray, which has to be separated by cutting some more tape. Finally, we're in the position where we can set the model free. And then just a medium sized hand crane will be able to lift the model parts out. And that consists of the trailer and the Scania tractor. There's a few more bits of protective packaging to remove. And actually there's some more, this time inside the trailer. And opening one of the side flaps, we can see there's a bag containing some more parts. And also a nice big piece of black foam rubber. So let's have a look at the little leaflet that comes with the model. And it describes the main features with some interesting English translations, such as lift board can be flexiboard and cabin can folder. The leaflet also talks about adding transfers, but they're not included. Other details name the manufacturer of the model as Keng Fai. To assemble the model, it's as simple as joining the tractor and trailer, and a little bit of clunk click does the trick. With the connection made, we drive on over to the Waybridge, and the model weighs one pound. 8 ounces, which is nearly 700 grams. For size comparison, here is a 1 to 50 size truck and trailer, and we compare it with our Scania model. Starting underneath the Scania, and the detail is very convincing, the steering, engine, and gearbox are modelled, as is the exhaust system. The tanks are detailed well, and the Keng Fai name is indicated on one of them, with the NZG logo marked on the other. The transmission is modelled through to the rear axle, and the tyres look good in this smaller scale. A pair of wheel chocks is modelled at the rear. The cab roof is shaped well, and details include air horns and aerials. There are also finer details such as the visor at the front. It's great to see that the cab has a see-through window, and that's more than many truck models at 1 to 50 scale have. Moving to the front, and the windscreen has proper windscreen wipers, and the Scania graphics and badge all look very good in this scale. It also has a high quality ball bar, and that's in front of a very nice Scania grille. The lights are also modelled very well. The high standard of detailing continues on the side of the cab, including a chrome strip around the window and a detailed door handle. The steps also have a patterned texture. Detailing along the side fairings is also very good, with various highlightings giving an authentic look. The wheels are also very detailed. At the rear, the lights have plastic lenses. And the Scania name is printed on the mud flaps. There are no number plates because this is a generic model. The rear of the cab has the Scania name embossed in the casting. And although there are no airlines, other detailing looks authentic. Looking down on the rear, there are some nice textures, including some etched plates. And there are model tanks in front of the fifth wheel. The wheel arch detailing is also great. Just like the Scania, the trailer is almost all metal, and it also bears the Keng Fai name. The landing legs are modelled, as are various tanks, and when it comes to the axles, they are very simply modelled. The front of the car transporter is fairly plain, and the paint finish is high quality. At the back, the hydraulic rams for the door are modelled, 
but it looks unusual to see no rear lights at all. On the roof, the hinges for the opening flaps are discreetly modelled. And going inside the trailer, the details are of a high standard, including the textured floors. These are not only on the loading ramp, but also inside. Back underneath the Scania and the rear axle turns without being free spinning. And there is steering available on the front axle. And it can achieve a moderate angle. Out on the test track, the Scania rolls along, but the slightly loose steering disrupts straight line movement. If we set the steering, then a moderate angle is achieved. A nice feature in this scale is that the cab tilts, and that gives you a good look at the detailed engine that's underneath. Another nice touch on this model is that the ball bar at the front is fully hinged. And not only that, but the ball bar is removable and can be replaced with a trim. To do that is simple enough. There are two screws that you need to remove underneath the ball bar. And then it just comes off. Replacing it with the trim doesn't require the screws. It just clips into the screw holes. And the fit is good, so it stays in place. Moving on to the trailer and the axles spin freely. And it also features working landing legs. And these rotate and clip into place. The full model is very manoeuvrable. And the cab rotates fully on the fifth wheel. Although the trailer looks plain and simple, it's packed with functionality. And the two sides are hinged at the roof and open up. At the back, the loading ramp can be lowered, and once it's down, it is also extendable. The height of the loading ramp is also controlled by vertical rams, so you can lower it right down to get a vehicle on board, and once the vehicle's on the ramps, you can raise it to get into the trailer. The trailer has two decks and you can pull the top deck right out and it is a detailed metal part. Included with the model are numerous black wheel chocks and these can be positioned in numerous places on the top or bottom decks. And here we fitted some to the top deck. Pins are supplied to fit into the posts inside the trailer and they are used to support the top deck at the level that you have set. All in all, this is great functionality for a model in a small scale. This is a very high quality model in 1 to 64 scale. In terms of detailing and functionality, it doesn't seem to lose out in comparison with 1 to 50 scale models. And the high metal content also gives it that quality feel. Overall, this is a really nice model of a Scania and car transporter, and for a model in this scale, it is certainly excellent.